Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I did not mean to do that. Um, I not mean to end the video like that. Okay, let's see. Slide the note under. Yes. You slid the note under the door and give it a knock. Oh, uh, no, it's that uh, another letter. I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, um, it's a short time though strongly is shut kinda strongly is good. Wait a second. <coughs> hey, if this is a joke it's Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have Oh my god. Oh no. That's admirable. Adorable. And if I if I had no idea you um right wrote that way, uh, that's it's surprising too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less than um, this. And so passionately too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Okay. Yeah, let's go on a date. Let's go. Dating start. Oh my god, this is the longest date ever. Um, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She got a good sense of, uh, anyway, let's do this at thing. Dating start. Oh, hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Hey, stop. stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection status first. That's um, that's um, that'll increase the chance of a successful outcome for the date, right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I'll get, I got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But, I also got some waterproof cream for your scales. Uh, your, uh, your scales? Uh, well, about, how about this magical spear or parakeet that I, uh, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Uh, a date. This is the second date that I went on this game with. This is the worst. The worst pirates. Do you uh like anime? Hey, me too. Hey, let's uh go somewhere. But oh, where is a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where I'm dying and I come all the time. We can find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, uh realize if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, give it to me. Uh, you don't have it. Nah. Have you at least seen her? somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking around. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm so, so I'm sorry. I just figured if, you know, it'll be fun to go on a, a like, a cute kind of pretend date with me to make you feel better. 
Well, it sounds even worse that when I when I put it like that. I'm sorry I messed it. I messed up again. Undyne is a person I really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? The truth. But if I tell her the truth, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Alright, truth where neither of us are? They say to be yourself, but I don't really like who I put myself in. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Uh, no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Roleplay? <coughs> uh, that actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, for sure one of us will be Undyne. For sure. Alright. Obvious. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? Glad to hear it. So I'd like to um, talk to you about something. See, I, 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 I haven't been actually truthful with you. You see, I, I, uh, forget it. And I, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me like that you're obedient and everyone up uh, anyone up that gets in my way. Undying! I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undying. Now hold me. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, uh, Undying, I was just Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit is really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes, I mean, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only meant to be playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? What about what? About well, everything. I told you. Really, I was just trying to lie. I can't read the text because it's going too fast. Alphys. I was just wanting to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. All this. I'm dying. I really think you're being okay. Elvis. Elvis. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're compassionate, you're analytic. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, 
You don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie anymore, anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. I'm not you. You're gonna train me? What, me? Ah, uh, uh, why papyrus? Nah. Nah, I'm gonna like, get papyrus to do it. Papyrus to do it. Oh, why papyrus? <laughs> but look at his shirt. Look at his outfit. That's awesome. <laughs> get this bones shake it. Get the bones shake it. It's time to jog. 100 laps. Shoot. Hooting again. About. Uh, hooting about her. Great. We are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undying. I'll do it. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. They're still real, right? And anime is real, right? I'm gonna make her happy. Let's go. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magic princesses. Here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of me. I don't. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but they seem like they're going to get better with her. Well, I gotta go. Watch. What? Well, catch up with you well, later. later. All right. There we go. That was the uh, one thing we did. There was like the um, date between Alpha and Omega, and the uh, night for the um, frisks. But um, yeah. Uh, you might remember this place. This is the place where we fought the mad dummy. Uh, like, a long time ago. This, this is the same place. So, if you didn't have... So, if you weren't able to get the space, the space can be... Now is a great time to do that. You can actually use that right now. Oh, wow. All my... All that's still here. <coughs> Yeah, the, the, if, you don't, if you didn't get any food, you can always get the astronaut candy. Howdy! Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. Face of the virus, you're also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. See you later, Papyrus. <coughs> Sorry, but my, my voice is like cracking. It's, it's bad. Oh. Okay. Here I go. Take me to the hot land. Oh, me. Hey, we're off. Did you ever hear the old song coming from the sea? Yep. Come again soon, sometime again. Alright, let's go to the lab, and let's see what strange things we find there. Yep, let's go. Right, let's see here, nothing really changes around here, you still get the fairy, the big TV, the giant hole that Metatron left. It's a note from Alphys, read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you can try your best. Hey. Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as a difficult as it is to say this, you guys all alone can't magically make my own, my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that for now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, into the door to the north of this note, all you all 
you all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Alright, let's go. Let's see what Alpha has done. Yeah, warning, warning. Elevator losing power. Um, tether, uh, stabilizer is lost. Altitude dropping. Altitude dropping. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be re recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So, to create more have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. He decides being impractical in doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent of he souls of humans, the souls of most monsters appear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Engine number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their soul the strength to pat persist after death. The will to keep living. The result to change fate. Let's call it power determination. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what determination is. Basically, it keeps them, it keeps the frisk or, or whatever you is alive. After every single time you die, it's that determination that keeps you living. What is this place? We gotta know. It's the true lab, guys. This is the true lab. The lab. For, so for some reason, Alpha has kept this thing hidden under her her lab right now. Like all of this. A very lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. Oh yeah, I don't have enough space for it. Engine number six. Asgore asks everyone outside of the city for monsters that had fallen down here. Their bodies came in today. They're still com comatose and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish within, freedom might be closer than we all thought. Go off us. Engine number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies will have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I turned to families. I told families that I have, I would give them the dust back from the green rolls. People are starting to ask me what happened. What do I do? What do I do? I think there's uh, something. Yeah, there's something in there, I know it. Okay, it's not that one. I think it's, I think it's this one. You can turn, turn on the sink. Yep. Meet the amalgamates. Yep, yeah, meet the amalgamates, guys. I think, yeah, I think that's what they call them. They call them in this game, the amalgamates. Supposedly, remember that, remember that uh, line that Charlie said, the word man speaks with hands? Um, for all you people who, who don't know his name and don't want it spoiled, please, um, go a little bit farther into this quote. But for those who have, who have heard of, or who have actually heard or played this game, knows, knows the guy's name, named W.D. Gaster. Supposedly, like, the maker of the, uh, of, of all the, um, Guys, whatever they are. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I honestly don't want to see. I forgot. There's a certain pattern you're supposed to do to do good, but I forgot what it is. And and even then, the attacks are so easy to dodge. I think it's uh, this 
check. Have one bus can join the lines rather than one together. Okay, they just want me to join them. Okay, what happens when you join? Come on, bus. And still, oh, and hold still. Defeated by an amalgamate. Legendary hero. Okay, there we go. They're all screwed. I turned them on, got nothing for that. Okay, here we go. I could read this, but there's no one on the floor. You can't make it all out. Drain, drop it. Drop it. Drain, drop it. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. Here we go. Now, since that uh, red thing that we saw, now if we put that in there, this thing activates. So, we have to find three more of those things. So yeah, let's get to the truck. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. It won't, it, it won't, I want this to work. Entry number 13. Everyone in the bar needs to open its eyes. Okay, I forget. I know there's there's one specific that. Wait, actually, I think if you lay in this one, something weird happens. Watch this. Pay attention. What is that? What is that? Some kind of penis? What the heck is that? Seriously. Somebody, please tell me. I don't see it. No idea what that is. It's a bed. Of course. There's something under the sheets. Click it. Yellow key. That's the yellow key. Alright, that's two keys down. Two more to go. Engine number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending that out of all of it. I sent the souls back to the Asgore return the vessel to this garden. But I called the families and told them everyone's alive. I I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Number 11. Now that Mataton made it big, he never talks. He never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. And I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends anymore again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, it I just get really sweaty. By the way, it also confirms that Mataton is not a girl. That Metaton is a guy. Just get that through. Get, just get sink that uh, sink in. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Another amalgamate. I believe they legitimately call this one. Yep. Yep, amalgamate. That's what they call this thing. An amalgamate. That it's actually what all these creatures are, they're called, all called Magomates, but this is a, le a legit Magomate. I believe this, um, this monster, or this thing, it acts like, um, the previous dogs, they, they fought most, pretty much just a glorified version of a greater dog. So you just back in, I know, whoops. <coughs> Oops. You see, it's pretty much just a glorified version of greater dog. Try and uh, now. We pet the composing rapidly. I believe you have to make it excited. Suddenly it shuts off. 
away and crawled brought wildly in the wall. Ow. version of Dog Song. Alright. I don't think we really got anything from that room. No, we did it. I think there's something over here. In chapter 16. No, 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 no! <coughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry. My throat is not well, what's this? Why oh, is that same thing that we saw in the bed? The green key was in the bathtub. Okay, we still got a couple more left. Of course, that of course the save point was amalgamated. I'm not I forget how you freaking do this one. Uh, uh, why? Why? Oh, what? They didn't give me enough time to Am 
I seriously don't know how to beat <coughs> that one, so I need to look it up real quick. Sorry. special hell. Oh, come on. Don't give me time to do anything. I do believe I think that's I think that's a a part of Omega Flowey, I think, if you got remember that. Alright, this is where the uh, yellow switch goes. So I might as well put that in. Okay. <coughs> Next time I think what we'll do. We'll just end up watching, like, I think I'm going to, okay, for, I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tanks. I didn't fucking, I didn't feel like that's more watching them. I didn't think he should. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think I'm just going to, like, walk, have us all watch, like, watch these tapes and then, then we're going to, um, do this. Gory, wake up. Um, what is it, dearie? Oh, and why do you have that video camera? I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is Ed Mundy. <laughs> oh, wow. Get it? Go back to bed. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Um, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Monronia. Oh, you sure are excited to have that child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day, you could be a famous Mamedian. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just getting teeth. Good night, honey. Good night, honey. Oh dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Wow. That was a little okay, John. Are you okay? Are you ready? Here, here. Are do your creepy face? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh wait, I did. I had the lens lens cap on. What? You're not going to do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha. Uh -huh. I am. Um, that's a character we'll see soon. Howdy, John. Smile for the camera. Oh, this time I got you. I left the cap on for on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. 
But uh, we actually put a buttercup thing instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad, we made mom really upset. I should I should have laughed it off. You like you did. Oh, anyway, where are you going with this? Oh, turn off the camera. Okay. Hey, that was tape four. I I didn't like this idea, John. I went no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm never doubting you, John. Never. You, yeah, you'll be strong. You'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. John, can you hear me? We, we want you to wake up. John, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. John, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said, I said I never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six and we'll do it together, right? Oh, there's something here. Yeah, anyway, that'll be all for this time. So, next time we'll be continuing on to the true lab. See you guys next time.